What's up, everybody? We got some Pokemon Go Battle League. I just got a million bands today. About to go and spin a bag, but I'm bands today. Yeah, about to spin a How is everybody doing today? Hopefully, everyone is good. I, I, I'm really excited for today's video um, because I'm not even going to lie to you guys. I molded so hard at today's video when I was recording it that it wasn't even healthy. Man, it was not even healthy. It was terrible. Just terrible. Not fun today. Um, so, you know what? Without further ado, let's get into it. So, we got the battles pulled up here. And we're just going to get right into it. Oh, please. I really hate when it does that. So, we got an interesting lead here. Obviously... We have Galarian Stunfisk, which we have access to Surf, which does super effective damage. But you need two Surfs to KO a Galarian Stunfisk. Now, let me tell you guys, this team is very interesting. I saw this team feature on a channel. I can't quite remember which channel it was. But they were saying, you know, this team is goaded. Like, this team has got the sauce, man. But listen, here are my gripes with this team. First of all... I'm a huge fan of Surf Etched. I really, really like Surf Etched, but I like Surf Etched on the lead because it just has so many good answers on the lead. Answers to G Stunfisk, answers to a lot of different things, answers to Trevenant, answers to a lot of things. Here's the other thing about this team. When you lead Mew, I feel like you never really win lead matchups. Like, you never dominate lead matchups. You know what I'm saying? You just kind of, you kind of win sometimes, you know? Um, you, you don't win consistently enough for me to be like, Wow, you have to lead Mew, you know what I'm saying? Like, you just, I, I don't know. Shadow Claw, Wild Charge, and Surf is a very interesting move set just because you have to, uh, obviously Surf is a good bait move, does good neutral damage to a lot, does good super effective damage to a lot here. Mew is the best answer, obviously, left in this match. Mew just doesn't do enough damage. I don't know, man. You feel like Wild Charge, you know, we gotta be taken out. Pokemon, which it just doesn't sometimes, and it's just like, ugh, ugh. Anyways, this is an interesting match here. We're going to be down to just a sliver of HP. They have two shields and two Pokemon. So, do we think we're going to be winning this one, guys? That is the question. They're going to shield. Here's the great part. <laughs> I could have thrown the Wild Charge here, but I don't, and it's a simultaneous KO. We have two Pokemon left. That is a very close win. And that's where it's going to be for this entire match. Another G Stun Fisk lead. Let, let me tell you something. Skarmory safe swap is just about the worst safe swap in the game. Now, I've been trying to push a little bit into veteran. I always like to try and push for veteran at the end of season. Middle of the season, I don't really care. I'm just going to play fun, awesome teams that I really like. But you know how many freaking G Stun Fisks and Bastidons there are? Just too many, man. And Skarmory just get walled by it. And here's the other thing. Look at how much these Dragon Breaths are doing. They're resisted Dragon Breaths. Skarmory's supposed to be super tanky. And it's just getting freaking damaged to heck by these Dragon Breaths from this Altaria. Altaria is just so good. You could probably swap Altaria out for this matchup here. Probably, and you'd still be fine. Dragon Breaths are just so oppressive here. It's hoping to undercharge. Guess Altaria's not that tanky. They're going to swap back in G Stunfisk here. Yeah, the amount of Bastionons I saw today was just insane. Safe swap Skarmory is just not a thing. This uh, team is just, I don't know, it's, it's squishy. Mew is squishy and Surfetch is just about the squishiest thing. That just displays it there. What am I supposed to do, guys? What am I supposed to do? I guess Shield would be a good answer. Uh, Trevenant's just about the one hard wall to Mew. That's the one thing about it. It's versatile, but it just doesn't dominate matchups like you'd want it to just doesn't dominate matchups we have to swap in our not so great answer to trevenant which is a surf fetched obviously we have access to night slash which would be doing a ton of damage they got metacham you'll love to see it metacham and <laughs> trevenant both weak to the ghost type so you'd think we have a chance here in this match but you'd be wrong Going to swap Mew in here because Mew has a better matchup against Metacham um, than it does Trevenant, obviously. So we're going to swap Mew into the Metacham. 
and have our Skarmory for the Mew. I don't know why I'm throwing the Surf here. They're not going to get to a move. They just threw two power-up punches. A couple of misplays, I suppose. They just do more damage than us. I don't know. That's the one thing with Mew. It just doesn't win matchups. It does win the Wall Rain matchup because you can build up to two wild charges. You can survive the first Icicle Spear, and then you can shield the second one, and then you'll be able to go up, you know, two shields or one shield to zero, right? But then you have to swap in. That's the thing about wild charge. It's just, it's a little frustrating. I feel like Mew is definitely better as a safe swap when shields are down. If you can get to a back-to-back -back wild charge with shields down, that is a great situation for Mew. That right there didn't even let me attempt to throw the move. It just said, okay, you're, you're screwed anyways. Very upsetting about that one. I don't even think Mew wins CMP. We got a good lead here though. Um... We have a, just the one I was just talking about. Yeah, wall rain into Mew. So you can, the thing, you can not shield the first one and then uh, you shield the second one and then you can go back to back. The thing about Mew is it's like in the middle range of being squishy and tanky. It's like not tanky tanky like a G stun fisk or a wall rain or anything like that. But it's, it's squishy enough where two icicle spear scales it. So gonna obviously now have to swap out here. And they're just going to end up getting the shield back, which is just like, okay, that's fine. You like to have shields for Surfetch. Not going to let him Earthquake me twice in a row. Surfetch, though, is going to dominate this matchup, obviously. One Leaf Blade is going to take that out. And what do they got in the back? A Water Ground type? This was a very hype match. Again, I was very tilted <laughs> making this video. And to have a match like this, I was, I was like, okay, that's fine. That's all right. Shadow Venusaur. This was a horrible match, guys. I'm not even going to lie to you. Obviously, we have to shield this up. We would not be surviving a Frenzy Plant. Well, we might. From a Shadow, it's going to be close. Um, we have the back-to-back -back Wild Charge here. But they're at the uh, Frenzy Plant. So, look. like I'm making money moves. I'm catching the moves. I'm catching a Frenzy Plant on a Skarmory. But what do they have to have a Bastion on? What are you going to do? <laughs> There's nothing I can do when you have a Bastion on. It's just, yeah, Skarmory's just not the best safe swap. Honestly, it's not a good Pokemon in this cup anymore. It used to be very good. It used to have good matchup against, obviously, Azumarill. It's all right against. Altaria, it's obviously pretty good against. Bastion is just like, this is what I got to do. I just got to gotta, gotta shrug my shoulder and say, all right, well, there's my Skarmory. You get to leave with two fucking flamethrowers. Sorry, didn't mean to swear, but... It is annoying. Bastidon is the least skilled Pokemon in the game. It's it's so bad. It's so like, okay, cool. They throw the Stone Edge here. They don't even realize that Flamethrower is worse. And I don't even think we can win this matchup, even though, you know, in both instances, we have winning Pokemon, right? In both the swap and the uh, the safe swap, it's just, yeah, I don't even know. We have a good matchup against that and that, and it's like, I can't do anything. Will this wild charge KO? That's the question. Do you guys think so? Excellent throw. Whole lot of lag. And guess what? It does not KO here. This is arguably all right. I mean, it's just another power up punch. You know, but look at how much damage three counters does. Three counters does about 30% damage to my Surf Fetched here. We're really hoping for a KO here on the Night Slash. It's about... a. 40% health. Nope. Venusaur is just better. That's all the videos for today, guys. A uh, little bit upsetting about these videos, these videos, and I thought this team was going to do a little bit better than it did. But you know what? We're going to have a great video anyways, guys. Mm -hmm. So hopefully you did enjoy. Please let me know which battle was your favorite. One, two, three, four, or five. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.